Regentin is a bioinductive implant which increases the healing in a rotator cuff tear. It decreases the re-tear rates. Here, the Regentin large size implant is deployed with the use of a deployer gun. The gun has a black trigger which when pushed will activate the gun and then you press the trigger to deploy the graft into the rotator cuff region. Here we can see that the Regentin patch is deployed. It is adjusted to the correct location. We need to be sure that about two-third of the, of the graft is on the rotator cuff portion and about one-third of the graft is on to the bone. Once we are fixed or we are sure about the position, we need to place the tendon anchors. Tendon anchors are a bioabsorbable bio anchors which holds the patch on to the tendon. They are heat sensitive and hence to be stored via cold storage. You can put one, two, three, up to eight tendon anchors for a good fixation of the tendon. Here you need to be sure that the position of the tendon anchors has to be maintained. Once the tendon anchor is being placed, we can remove the loader or the graft and then the next step is to place the peak bone anchor. The set comes with three peak bone anchors but minimum two peak bone anchors are required to be placed to fix the graft. The peak bone anchors are placed through the regentin patch into the bone. It is The system is provided with a gun in which the gun is placed onto the patch. The anchor is, uh, the mallet is done to make the pilot hole and then the peak anchor is placed so as to hold the anchor into its position. Here we are placing the second anchor and we will see that we will be placing the desired location. Then there is a small black color trigger which is pulled to place the bone anchor in. Then the mallet is used to put the uh, trigger in and then the bluish device is loaded to push the peak anchors down. So here we can see that the second peak anchor is placed. After that, we will be placing our third peak anchor. This anchor is placed in the middle and this will be again placed perpendicular to the patch. Once the anchor is placed perpendicularly after melting we can see that now the peak anchor come into its position the peak anchor is loaded with barbs and when we push the peak anchor it holds the patch really nice with the bone